In Excel, a 3D reference is a reference that refers to the same cell across multiple worksheets. 3D references can be very useful when you have multiple worksheets on a workbook that use the same pattern or layout for their data, and you want to consolidate or summarize the data on those worksheets. In these situations, 3D referencing may be a perfect solution. Let's see an example. Here we have a workbook which contains four worksheets. The first three worksheets in the workbook contain viewership information for three different animated shows during a particular year, 2011, 2012, and 2013. Notice that the structure or layout of these three worksheets is identical. Put another way, the values located in specific cells on these worksheets have the same meaning or purpose from worksheet to worksheet. For example, the value in cell B4 on each worksheet refers to the average number of viewers per episode for the animated show South Park during that particular year. This sort of identical structure from worksheet to worksheet is required in order to use 3D referencing effectively. The final worksheet contained in our workbook is a summary worksheet. And this is the worksheet that we will use to consolidate or summarize the data appearing on the 2011 through 2013 worksheets. The general idea with 3D referencing is to refer to a range of worksheets in an Excel workbook in the same way that we can refer to a range of cells on a worksheet. Just as a range of cells refers to a continuous set of adjacent cells, the worksheets that we want to use for our 3D references must also be adjacent to each other on the workbook. In our example, the 2011, 2012, and 2013 worksheets are located next to one another on the workbook. That is, no other worksheets appear between these three worksheets. Given that our three worksheets meet this adjacency criterion, let's see how to use 3D referencing. To begin, notice that the viewership numbers for the TV shows Archer, South Park, and Futurama appear in cells B3, B4, and B5 on each worksheet. With this in mind, let's proceed to the summary worksheet. Column B on the summary worksheet is intended to contain the overall average number of viewers per episode for each of the three animated series. This means that we want to know the average number of viewers for each series from 2011 through 2013. To calculate these values, we can use 3D references. Beginning with the overall average viewership for Archer, and recalling that the yearly viewership numbers for Archer are contained in cell B3 on the 2011 through 2013 worksheets, we can compute the overall average by passing a 3D reference into the average function. We do this by specifying the range of worksheets that we want the average function to include in its calculations, as well as the specific cell on these worksheets whose value we want the average function to use. Just as when we specify a range of cells, we specify a range of worksheets by using the colon character. In this example, we are telling the average function that we want to include worksheets 2011 through 2013 in its calculations. We then type an exclamation point, followed by the reference to the cell whose value we want the average function to use. In this example, we are telling the average function to use the values contained in cell B3 on each worksheet in the selected range. When we close the function and press enter, Excel will use the 3D reference to calculate the answer that we want. In this case, we can see that from 2011 through 2013, the overall average number of viewers per episode of Archer was 1,242,538. By using the fill handle to drag our formula down the column, Excel will quickly calculate the overall average number of viewers per episode for South Park and Futurama as well. Using a similar approach, 
We can also quickly calculate the highest and lowest average number of yearly viewers per episode for Archer by using a 3D reference in conjunction with the max and min functions. After completing these tasks, we can easily calculate the yearly viewership range by subtracting the lowest average number of yearly viewers from the highest average number of yearly viewers. In this example, we see that between 2011 and 2013, the yearly average viewership numbers for Archer varied by 339,615 viewers. Having completed these three formulas, we can now use the fill handle to drag the formulas down their respective columns in order to compute the analogous values for the animated series South Park and Futurama.